I'm making a dimensional lumber bedroom furniture set and the third piece in this set is the chest of drawers and that's what I'm going to be working on today and I'm using nothing but dimensional pine for this this is all 2 by 10 8 feet long boards and pretty much they're all cut from the center of the tree so they've got the center pith area right here and then two what you could consider quarter sawn pieces on either side. I'm going to try and get as much of the good material as I possibly can out of this which means I'm going to have a lot of waste but before I start cutting out the uh, quarter sawn areas on the side I need to make sure I have five really clear boards for the drawer fronts and I'm going to go ahead and mark these out with crayon first and rough cut those and set them to the side and then I can start getting all of the good pieces that will make up the side panels on both sides. <laughs> are rough cut and stacked out of the way. I'll get to those when I make the drawer boxes which will be last. Now I've already rough cut the pieces for the side styles, the side rails, and the top boards. Now I just need to rip these down to a more appropriate width. I'm going to go ahead and glue up the top panel that way I can be doing something productive while the glue dries on it. And I'm going to glue it up into two separate panels that way I can run each panel through the thickness planer and clean them up nice and good before I glue them together for the final top surface. The tongue and groove joinery on all the side assembly pieces will be cut referencing off of the outside faces. So to make this process a little bit easier I'm going to run all my pieces through the thickness planer just to make sure that they are all indeed the exact same thickness. I started gluing up the panels out of order, I should have glued the side panels before I glued the top. But anyway, I've already milled the material for both the top and bottom of the side panels, but they're a full inch and a half thick, so I'm going to resaw them on the bandsaw before I glue them together, and this will give me both side panels for each side assembly.
Five drawers means six dust frames. Now I'm gonna attach these with floating tenons. A good alternative would be dowel joinery if you don't want to do floating tenons. I've never done floating tenons before, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now, after these dust frames are assembled, I'm also going to attach the dust frames to the side assemblies with floating tenons as well. While the glue dries on that, I want to talk real quick about the sponsor of this video, Lisa Mattresses. Now, if you're in the market for a new mattress and absolutely hate going to the department store like I do, then you need to check out the Lisa Mattress. It's a luxury mattress that ships compressed in a box to your doorstep for free within a couple of days. And watching this thing expand into its final form like a giant marshmallow is actually quite amusing. Now, the Lisa Mattress offers showroom quality that is comparable to Tempur-Pedic's and fancy Innerspring mattresses that cost thousands more, and it's designed with three layers of premium foam, a perforated two inch top layer, and a two inch memory foam layer. All of this means that it's super cool and has the perfect balance of cushion and support. To make sure that there's absolutely zero worries with your new mattress, Lisa's giving you 100 nights to sleep on it, and if you don't absolutely love it, then they'll pick it up and give you a full refund. Now, for every 10 mattresses sold, one is donated to those in need at a homeless shelter. So Lisa wants to help out by giving all of my friends who are watching this video $75 off their purchase. Just go to lisa.com forward slash J, that's two E's in Lisa, and use the promo code J75 at checkout. That's lisa.com forward slash J. Be sure to use that URL so they know that I sent you. Thanks to lisa.com for sponsoring this video. Thanks to all of you for being awesome. Now let's get back to the project. I'm using half inch plywood for all of the drawer boxes and drawer bottoms and each individual drawer can be cut from a full eight foot length of plywood that is seven inches wide and before I cut the individual pieces out of that eight foot length of plywood I'm going to go ahead and cut the bottom dado for the uh, bottom panel to sit in and because this is all plywood I can just glue the bottom panel in place during assembly.
I'm using some shims to center the drawer front onto the drawer box and then I will secure the two together with a couple screws where the drawer poles will eventually be. Then I can finish securing it from the inside and attach the drawer poles.